Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to PISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to discuss a very important topic with all of you that how to configure and email into cases automatically in Service Cloud. So you all know about Service Cloud. Uh, if you want to know more about Service Cloud, you can go through my existing videos about Service Cloud. So in this tutorial, I will be going to explain you how to convert customer emails into cases automatically. So first of all, let's understand what is email to case. So what is an email to case? So email to case, it helps the company efficiently resolve and correspond with customer inquiry inquiries via email and the service clouds automatically creates cases and auto populate case fields when customers send messages to email address we specify so usually whenever we communicate with customers and the customers if they have if they have any complaints so they would like to register a case and for that they will sending an email on a mail ID which will be provided to the customers and the companies want whenever the customer send an email on that particular mail ID so it should be converted into cases automatically and register under cases in the service cloud so that's the scenario and uh, let's take the requirement what's the requirement of today so that's the business requirement that there's a company and that wanted to register all the emails sent by its customer on a specific email as case in the service cloud which is configured by company so in this we need two things first of all we we required a service cloud account and second thing we required an email which will be used as a configuration or which will be going to configured as a email id for which so that whenever customers send an email on that mail id it will be converted into cases and rest saved under cases like as you can see here as a testing mail for testing I have already uh, the tried uh, these cases the emails which have been sent on a particular mail ID it will be it has registered as a cases over here so we'll be going to perform same thing in a service club so let's see how to perform this so like I was talking about we need a we required a registered account so I have already registered over here you can see here that's the registered account and now in this account I'm going to create a configure the email ID so that it can be accessed uh, by our customers and whenever customers send an email on that particular mail ID it will be registered on under cases over here so for this we need to do a configuration so let's see how to do that configuration for this click on setup under setup you need to go go to customize in customize click on cases look for cases over here so here's the cases I have open cases expand it and here we have email to case option so I click on email to case initially you will get this screen so it in it explains that what is email to case and what are the key key features and benefits so I'll just check this and click on continue in the next screen it is asking for we have to edit this because we have to configure routing address so in it might possible that you will not get this routing address initially because I have already configured this one that's why I'm getting this in your case you have to edit this enable email to case and save it then only you will be able to get this option over here so I'm edit it again and in this when I click on edit first option you have to check this enable email to case and second option is you have to go for enable on demand service now why do we need this option to be checked if you don't want to install any third party software that is email to case agent behind your network firewall you need to check this if you do not check this then you need to install an email to case agent on your system to handle emails which uh, which will be of larger size of more than 25 MB so if you if you check this then you do not need to install any of that kind of email uh, servicing agent on your system so I'm going to check this and now the largest files will be handled by the service cloud itself and uh, over email rate limit action I set it to bounce messages and unauthorized sender action I set it for discard message click on save once we click on save we need to configure this routing address we have to configure routing address over here 
So to configure routing address, click on new. Here you have to give routing name. So I give a name, email to case and the email address through which we, you will be going to provide to the customer so that whenever they send an email on that it will be uh, used, that email will be used as a customer service ID, mail ID. So I'm going to enter my name, so I'm going to use my official mail ID over here for configuration and uh, then I'll go with case priority will be medium and I set the case priority is medium and case origin is email and save it. Okay and once you clicked on save it will generate a routing address email service uh, email service address so and if you check your mail id if you'll go to your mailbox you can see you will receive an email from the salesforce and you have to click on this link to verify your link verify your routing address so i just simply clicked on this and i got a message th thanks for verifying the email routing address now it is verified so we can close it and get back to our Salesforce service cloud and from here for testing this I simply copy this copy this routing address or email service address copy this get back to my email ID click on compose and paste in the to section and send a uh, try to send a message so I'll write uh, phone let's register a case not working my phone is not working properly, please solve the issue. So once you've done this, once you have note down the uh, created the mail and click on send. So if you'll go back to your inbox, you'll see that email has not received over here and if you'll go back to your Salesforce and in call center if you click on cases you will get that case will be uh, submitted over here or created over here so it will take time it may take time so you can keep refreshing it as you can see here as soon as I refreshed I got a new record over here recent cases and the case number has generated automatically and the subject which we have mentioned the mailbox in the subject line open this and you can see the information the phone is not working and who has sent this and if you want you can work on these cases you can close the case over here if the case has been completed if the issues have been solved the customer issues have been solved we can close the case from here so this is for the testing purpose and now if you would like to configure it permanently that uh, that whenever any customer will send an email to you or email to me on my mailbox and that should be registered as a case over here so for this we need to do configuration in our mailbox and for that you click on settings over here in your mailbox click on settings and here we have forwarding and pop IMAP and we need to add that forwarding address over here so once you add it and once you enable the forwarding your work will be done and any customer who will whoever send an email to me on the registered mail ID or the mail ID which is given to those customers and especially in my case if they send the email to me in my, on this mail ID on my mailbox that all the mails will be redirected to Salesforce and saved as a under cases over here so it's pretty easy to do it so that's all in this video and I hope you understand how to configure and email to cases automatically in service cloud so if you have any issues you can come up with your questions and you can visit our youtube channel for to subscribe it and to get get more knowledge on service cloud and to get more videos on that till then have a nice day ahead goodbye